Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a good start of their Tuesday. It is Tuesday, yes it is. Um, Mal, yes, that's the plan. I'm gonna be playing one of your favorite games. It's gonna be awesome. Um, Corn Husk, I see you in there. I, I see you peeping around. So yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna be playing some Chrono Trigger today. Um, 16 by 9 chrono trigger and it's gonna be awesome um i played the game once i played the game well i played through it once and that was a long time ago back like some point during college but i loved it and i i had played uh chrono i had played chrono cross um when uh when i was in high school so I didn't even know Crown Trigger was a thing until after I had played Chrono Cross. Um, so yeah, I kind of played them backwards, but um, I was uh, super because there was when I first played Chrono Cross, I didn't know what was going on in the story. It didn't make any sense to me. Um, and then I had to play, and that like I found out I had to like kind of play Chrono Trigger to have a better idea. And I ended up playing Crown Trigger, and I was like, oh my god, this game's awesome. I wish I grew up with a Super Nintendo. This sucked that I had to miss this. Mm. The thing of it was, I played Chrono Trigger on the PS1 port. Because that was the only time, the only way I had access to it at the time to play it. So I had to suffer through the long load times just to play it. Now I'm going to be able to play it without the long ass load times. It's going to be cool. Oi, bro. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are here having a good time. Um, seems like you guys are anticipating some, uh, um, some awesome crown trigger. So, you know what? Let's go. Let's get to the game. Let's see how it looks on your, on your guys then. All right. Stride J, what's going on, dude? SNES was my second favorite game system. Ah, nice. I recently came across some top tier Gen Z humor. Oh God, I'm I'm afraid to know. What you got? What you got, sir? Balls. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Sega Gen like I was kind of happy I grew up with the Sega Genesis over the SNES Yeah, the SNES had all the Mario properties and had some good stuff But the SNES made games that were released on both neutered in a way and The lesser version of usually when when something got made for both Sega and Super NES Usually the SNES got the neutered worst version So I was kind of glad I got I had the Sega growing up um, Crown Trigger's best experience on a Super NES or an emulator. Thank you for coming to my uh, TED talk. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, we're playing it on a regular SNES. Um, here I'm gonna kind of guide the camera around here, so forgive me. This might seem a little wonky. Actually, I might just. Ah, so if you can see it there, that's a an original SNES there, and I I got an HDMI adapter with it. So yeah. But yeah, that's not my Super Nintendo, it's my buddy's. Uh, my buddy was very awesome and let me borrow it 
just for this playthrough. Um, maybe I might be able to hold on to it for some other playthroughs, but I have no idea. We'll see. Um, Kellogg's rice cream. <laughs> Uh, you guys are hilarious. So, back to the, back to the thing. Hoping to learn a FF6 speedrun online someday. Mal, you, you only got so much time to do things, dude. Alright, yeah. Must be my buddy's game saves because it says Keith. All right. Um. Mm. A chrono speed run would be fun to learn. Also, you are right. The chrono speed run has a lot of um, glitches and like things you exploit. And you end up skipping fair parts of the game at certain points. Um, so I do, I do remember that in the Chrono or in the Chrono Trigger speedrun because I've seen people speedrun it before. And yeah, it's just certain points you like literally skip so much of the story because of exploits in the game. Um, I had sort of a Nintendo old day console ripoff, which my uncle got from a cheap shop when I was a kid. It had uh, Mario Bros, Super Contra, Pinball, Pac-Man, all the other shit. Nice, nice. You could kill the boss right from the start. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you did a New Game Plus, maybe. Can you even do that on a regular, like, just original save, though? Like, with, with barely any stats and... Yeah, New Game Plus, yeah. The game has multiple endings. So I would imagine one of the multiple endings is you start a new game plus and literally just fight the boss right when you get access to it. Active? Everybody wants to see active? I was about to ask, should I play active or should I play wait? Part of me wants to play wait because I'm a fucking pussy. <laughs> that is the only way. AC to the tiv. Okay. All right. You guys convinced me. All right. Enter the name. Well, you know what? It, Chrono is such a good name. I'm going to stick with that. Well, it'd be nice if the start button worked, actually. Uh-oh. The start button is not working. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I can't get through the, uh, the fucking name. Like... I'm hitting the start button. Not working. See, when I had him, sh when I had my buddy show me the game and play it for a little bit, he, I don't think he actually, he loaded up a save. I don't think he actually ever hit the start button. <laughs> there we go. I, I hit it just right. I mean, that's practically what I did, man. I literally, like, dug my nail in and pushed it through the fucking controller. I know, right? What kind of town shoots the birds? Oh, by the way, did I not mention, guys? This is an old school RPG, which means full voiceover. 
Chrono. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. Yeah, Chrono! Woo! All right. There's gotta be a way to make him run at all times, though. Um, stereo, battle mode, save, save, save. Oh, I actually gotta hold the button down to dash. Mm. All right. Um, in Japanese or through tsunami. <laughs> this this world's doomed to fail. Waking up to a millennial fair. No shit, right? Um, how do I get over there? Okay, okay. Window color. I gotta make it easier for me to read, so... Because I'm an old man. Alright. Blue... The, the blue kind of works for me, so I'll try to use that. Uh, Battle gauge one, sure. Alright. And then dash is B. Okay. See, it's weird. I've never... This is... Alright, a... I don't normally play much on a Super Nintendo, so like actually playing with a Super Nintendo controller is it's a weird feeling for me. Forgive me if I hit something wrong. Um So wait, I could just stop and save anywhere, is that I, I assume there's save points. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours. Ah, uh, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Oh, this is one of those things where I gotta hit start again. This is gonna be, the hardest part of the game is gonna be hitting start after every name entry. I just called it. I have a few things I need to do. Going to be measuring a roof. I'll be lurking. All right. Thank you, Mal. Much appreciated. And Dashi, I haven't forgotten about you, dude. I see you in there. What's going on, dude? There we go. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now. Be back before dinner. Oh. I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. I fought the fair. Hell yeah. Give me that money. Is there anything else I could get? Ah, oh, yes. Alright. Ah, oh, Bulma. Uh, oh, you guys are talking DBZ. I'm just here for the Cruise Cool Chrono Trigger audiobook. Yeah, usually people are. Um, that's my residence. Did I just come from there? Hard to believe Guardia is now a thousand years old and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? Psh, fucking terrible guy. Uh, Chrono would not be back for dinner. Psh, spoilers! Shut up, Cornhusk. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I've been waiting for this, for this for a while now. Like that brat Lucas says she made the discovery of a lifetime. Wow, you don't you don't have to be so like brash about it. Jesus, what a dude? I'm so happy I could scream. 
Okay. <laughs> so like, I've been want, like I said, I've been wanting to play this for a while now. I had to like finally meet up a, with my like find time to meet up with my friend. Like, my friend is always so fucking busy. So like, it was it it took a lot of like navigating to like try and get him to meet with me and let me so I could actually gain access to the Super Nintendo and Crown Trigger. He, I, I was pretty sure he would let me borrow it if I asked kindly. Visit our stall in Lean Square. The Mayor's Manor. Hi, do you know about our establishment? Uh, no. This is the Mayor's Education Center. I think there is a workshop for beginners. You can take things you find here. Oh, what is there to find? Uh, no. Yeah, I got a tonic. Alright. Scattered throughout the world, you are places where you can save your game. Uh-huh. Like that one. The save's not working. Is that like not a legit save point? Okay, whatever. Fuck that. Do you know about shelters? They're quite useful. Yeah, I do. Shelters keep a roof over my head, fucker. Man, these all these people got things to say too. Want my advice? What do you got to say, old man? You got potential. You learn a number of techniques. They are magic attacks. Are you utilize your weapons? You'll acquire them with discipline. I have none of that, so fuck. All right, I'll teach you about skills. Are you willing to learn? Fuck no. Hold down the left and right buttons to escape from battle. No one to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. Numbers next to the sword and shield icons indicate attack and defense power. Higher number, higher greater power. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I understand how stats work. Thank you. Uh, no. I know what damage in battle means. I get hurt. Let's move on. Sadly, this was the first RPG I ever played, so my RPG experience kind of peaked here. Wait, are, are you saying, Cornhusk? Are you, are you, do you have the audacity to say that there is no better, no better RPG than fucking Chrono Trigger? Is that is that where was that what you're going with there? Is that is that your argument of the day? In your opinion, well, corn husk. Every, everybody's entitled to your to their own opinion. It's fair. I don't know if it's the best. It's pretty damn good, but best. Are you buying? Sure. Thanks. I'll play you a song. Beautiful. 
Really beautiful. I like it. All right, what else you guys got to say? Come on in. Take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than going to the fair anyway. Why is everybody so fucking rude in this town? The fuck? Been to the fair yet? Not yet. Well, get going then. You have to wait a thousand years for another millennial fair. Fuck. Uh, no, I don't need to lounge in. Oh, holy flippin' shit. I got it. What'd you get? Remember the earthquake we just had? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Dashi just shit, redeemed share a bad dating experience. And Cornhouse still loves uh, 7, 6, 9 on Mario RPG. Mind you, I haven't played Fantasy Star. You know, Cornhouse, they have released, uh, they've released plenty of RPGs past 2000. Even on newer consoles. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it is a thing. I mean, the best, the, the best way to do this right now is to do it now because I'm not really f engrossed in the story yet, so I might as well get the bad dating experience done, um, before, uh, I get too far in. Um... So, that dang experience. Oh, man. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I, I had to share one last night, so I'm trying to think of another one off the top of my head. All right, bad dating experience. Here we go. So, this was a couple years, about two or so years prior to being with my girlfriend. Um, <clears throat> I... Um, as I tell people before, I do a, a lot of online dating. Um, Mal, get your ass back in here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, I ended up um, finding this girl on, on the site who lived, she actually lived, you know, within 10 minutes of me, which living in the middle of nowhere is kind of like cool because I'm like, you know, for the most part, it's just like, I was traveling to meet people everywhere, like half hour dates, hour long, like hour long travels to dates. Um, so I'm just like, finally, I, you know, I, this girl's like 10 minutes from me. Like it's actionable, reasonable, like relationship distance material, you know? So, <clears throat> um, we agreed to meet at some hot dog joint in, uh, over, uh, some adjoining city a couple miles from us so I get there uh, mind you she's about I want to say she's about six years older than I am so I thought that was a little odd that someone you know six years older than I am and without kids wanted to like meet up with a guy like me but you know it was cool whatever she didn't seem that bad looking and she seemed like she was into things I would be into because, uh, yeah, no kids. And like I said, she seemed, like I said, she seemed like she'd be things I'm into because she liked to do like some occasional cosplay. She liked to do like nerdy things like Pokemon, stuff like that. Um, really good background music for the story too. I know, right? Um, so we, we meet up. And I start, you know, she seems nice. Um, we start kind of getting to know each other. And then, well, the big thing was I, I knew she was into Pokemon Go. And, you know, I know you guys, I know there's plenty of you over, you know, in the audience or, you know, who's going to hear this that either played Pokemon Go or still play or they really enjoy it or whatever. This girl was, well, I knew she played it, but she was obsessed with it. Completely obsessed with it. You know, to the point where the date, okay, the date lasted two hours in that restaurant. I had to spend an hour, at least an hour and a half 
given a full-fledged, full-front tutorial, opening, like, game tutorial, and even had to sit there and play it a bit with her on how to play Pokemon Go. Even though I told her I was not really interested in playing it at the time, nor did I want to, but she literally went through every little fucking thing and had to explain everything. Like, I was, like, deeply rooted into the game. And I'm just sitting there like, holy shit. Wow. So... I sat through that. And... You know, we, you know, the day down did, I sat through that. And, you know, she loves her Pokemon Go, cool. But, I was like... Alright, so we, we meet up a couple times throughout after that. So, we meet up a couple times. And during those times, I kind of wanted to show her things I was into, you know? So, like... Mal, she wouldn't have been that she wouldn't have been that into me. I wasn't shiny. Uh, <laughs> so the next couple dates I try to like she would constantly like bring it up or like and get like use it as like conversation like material. I would like try to show her other things that I was into that, you know, I'm like, okay, if you're this big of a nerd for fucking Pokemon let me show you some other stuff you might like so like I would try to show her like board games like I tried to show her like real simple stuff like ticket to ride stuff like that and oh my god she thought so I brought her to my home and she saw like all the board games and stuff like that you guys see all the board games what do you think you know you see all the board games she saw all the board games she freaked out. She literally thought that was the weirdest thing she ever fucking saw. And she was like appalled. And I I'm like, yeah. And then like, I I'm like, all right, all right, you know, chill out. How about I play a game with you and you see what's up? So I get her to play a game and like during the entire time, and this is words I found, words she told me later. She felt throughout that entire experience that she was playing a kid's game. I'm like, this is a game a bunch of adults play. What are you talking about? And she's like, it's board games. Kids play board games. Adults don't play board games. I'm like, what? <laughs> she felt... Because she was an adult, she did. She should have had to play board games. So yeah, you were like, actually, you are the weirdest thing I have ever seen. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. And not, not to mention, like, okay, she's into like all sorts of like shows and movies and stuff that I like to watch. Okay, so I'm like, you know, if you're into this, we should watch this. And and then she'd be like, well, I told my dad I would watch that with him, so I don't want to watch that. I'm like, okay, well, how about this movie? I really want to watch this movie. Well, I told my mom I would watch that with her, so I don't want to watch it. I, I want to watch it with my mom. And I'm like, okay, well, how about this other show? I mean, this show's cool. And she's like, um, I'm currently watching that with my sister, uh, so I don't... I'm, I'm watching that with my sister, so no. Like, seriously, there was not a show or fucking movie I could watch with this girl. Because she was watching them all with her family. And I'm, and then I found out she was still living with her parents. Bitch is 38, still living with her parents. And she'd been living with her parents for years. Like, she never tried to go and venture out on her own or live in her own place. She just... I'm happy living with my mom and dad. They love having me there at the age of 38. It's great. Um, yeah... So I think, yeah, in total, there was like three dates all together. Fucking, yeah, dude. I I try, dude, I tried talking about like the actual Pokemon RPG game, like the, the Game Boy game. I tried talking about that and she basically dismissed it because it was not Pokemon Go. Like, 
after like the third day and mind you we never kissed there was no kissing nothing happened like that like i didn't even get that close to her she wouldn't let me she was so guarded by the yeah like i think after the third date she basically told me that i was way too nerdy for her and i need someone nerdier to handle like i need someone that gelled with me better she could not handle my nerdiness and I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, it was it was crazy. So yeah, she's Mrs. Pokemon Go. And here's the thing, here's the irony of this story. My uh, my my supervisor, where I was working prior, you know, he he and I are pretty pretty tight. Um, he was actually telling me he went to high school with her. And he said she was the fucking weirdest thing ever. Um, like she was, you know, kind of an oddball in high school. Well, during like our last dinner, like one of our, like our second dinner date or whatever, I told her that he was my boss and she went on like a half hour to an hour, an hour rant about how he ruined her life in high school and how he was this terrible asshole that treated her like shit and picked on her all the fucking time. And I fucking like, seriously? This guy is like the nicest guy I know. Like everybody walks all over him at work. Like he's such a cool guy, like a decent guy. Like how, uh, who, who are you talking about again? Like, and I asked him like, Hey, did you treat her like shit in high school? He's like, well, yeah, we were all dicks in high school. I mean, some people got the worst of it. <laughs> so. Not only are you a hot dog, a grandstand, or a showboat, and a prima donna, but you're a liar, too. Oh, no, not lying about that shit. That bitch was obsessed with Pokemon Go. But, yeah, so there you go. Another crazy that I had to meet off the internet that I met that loved Pokemon Go just a little too much, but not nerdy enough to where she was willing to date me. So, and a prima donna? Yes, yes. Mmm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you sure oh, dodged the Pokeball on that shepherd. one? Oh, God. Oh, God. Why won't you play with me? Shepherd. Oh man, that is that a bad dating experience? Oh my god, it was. It was the worst. I didn't. I didn't even fucking like get a kiss from this chick at all. Like we never got physical or anything. Like overall, I had to get a bad fucking Pokemon tutorial, Pokemon Go tutorial, and this bitch wouldn't touch me. Yeah, I would say it's a bad dating experience. Like that was not cool. Um. And she whined about everything. So, ultra guarded, ultra sensitive. Yeah, fuck that. That, that was, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not bashing on women of any, uh, you know, to be, I want to be completely fair here. I'm not a woman basher of any means on this channel. I just thought this woman just had a lot of baggage that I really didn't want to have to deal with. But yeah, there you guys go. Redeemed. Hopefully you enjoyed that, um, Andashi. Top quality story. Speaking of top quality story, we need to get back to the game. There would not be a third date for me. Well, Cornhusk, the only reason I stayed on as long as I did was because I was willing to see if she would eventually sleep with me. You know, every guy, you know, at, at that point I was kind of dry, so I'm like, I was trying to see if she would be willing to like at least hook up with me and sleep with me and it just that that sh that shit was not flying it just wasn't happening i mean it is it <laughs> hey i'm not i'm not afraid to admit my girlfriend calls me this all the time i'm a fucking man whore um just i've been a man whore for many years until i settled with her so, and I tell her all the time, you know, I settled with her. Like, I'm happy I settled with her. And she hates that. She hates I tell her that. 
because then in her mind she feels like I gave up looking and I I chose to just be content with her. <laughs> I was once told by a good friend, never leave a girl until you fuck her. Well, sometimes that, I mean, I kind of understand that sentiment in Dashi, but sometimes, sometimes it's just not worth it, dude. It's just not worth it. The, the mental anguish of it all, it's just not worth it. Um, delete that before she sees. Yeah, Vanessa is very aware of everything and we're pretty open about, you know, stuff like this topics like this so like this is shit she's either heard before or she's forgotten and she's hearing again if she hears me down the hall so like oh the thing i said that i shouldn't have oh my god okay so here's what we'll do oh i can't delete it it's a fucking vod <laughs> you you screwed up on that one sir when I see Chris, I see big man is a nice little man. You don't really scream manhorn at first sight. Dude, that, that's how I get them, Stryj. Stryj, that's how it works. That's the system. People see me and they're like, man, he's a nice little man. He's super sweet. And then that's how the numbers pile up. That, you know, that's how that works, Stryj. Learn from the man here. Learn from the coolest guy on Twitch who's, uh, <clears throat> by the way, um, I will officially declare, cause I'm, I know, um, I know it's gonna, I know people are gonna, and she, and Vanessa knows all this, so don't worry about what she's hearing. I've slept with well over a hundred women in my lifetime. Just saying, I've, I slept with well over a hundred women. Like, it's, you know, I've been around, I, I've, I've had my fun, you know. Um, but you know, that's not something I normally brag about. I'm just saying it, it's happened when you do a lot of online dating and there's a lot of online duds, it just happens to turn out that way. Um, I'm <laughs> anyway, sir, I'm going to lurk because I'm going to hunt some dinos and like to hear them before they rip me to pieces. No problem. Dashi. Thank you for redeeming the story and thank you for hanging out. Um, now the real question is how many UTIs? Oh, shut up, zombie. <laughs> the cool horror verse. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my God, guys. Um, oh, uh, I, I saw a supernatural pudding in here. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm sure she can hear you anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I, 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 I've done some things. And that was before I got plump, okay? That was before I got too plump. And then some of it happened when I did get plump. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how many women like bigger men. You have no idea. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, I meet women, and they're like, oh my god, finally a guy that's not all skin and bone. Exactly, Stryj. I was just the perfect size. It, it fit in just nicely. And then, you know, I'm just the... I carry, I carry my weight well. There you go. I carry... Well, I used to carry my weight well. Not as well as I, as I used to be, but... Doesn't mean you shouldn't be healthy. I'm, I'm working on that supernatural working on it um chris you remember bakugan um no i do not lies um of course of course i how, how, how dare people say i'm a liar that's bullshit I have proof. How do you have proof? You don't have no proof. Unless you're someone I know. You're probably someone I know. I, I hate when people I know troll me. <laughs> I 
Uh, you guys are great, though. So glad Tuesday's been super awesome. And I haven't, I've barely just gotten a Chrono Trigger. I see you sitting there all the time. Well, of course you do. Of course you see me sitting here all the time. I'm, I'm a streamer. When I'm a streamer, I kind of sit here and do my thing. Good, I mean, good looking out. Good looking out. Um. Of course you know Supernatural. He's in the chat many times. Oh, come on, come on, guys. Oh, you gotta start with the stretching? All right, all right, Jesus. sitting there even when you aren't streaming I got I got this weird feeling I know who supernatural pudding is and I'm gonna smack him when I see him some stretching um give me one moment guys i will be right back So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Supernatural Pudding is Vanessa. So yeah, that's Vanessa, everybody. Say hi to Vanessa, guys. Supernatural Pudding is Vanessa. Yeah, say hi to the lovely Vanessa, my lovely girlfriend. Yeah, I, I, I figured as well as soon as, like, probably the second comment. I was like, like I, I had this weird feeling. It's like, Oh, Chrono Trigger. Hey, Rancor, what's going on, dude? Rancor, you missed it. Oh, my God. My God. Um. Anyways, Rancor, you missed it. Someone redeemed a bad dating story, and it's been, like, craziness ensued from there. So, like, yeah, it's... The, like... We kind of diverged from the game, and it's it's been like one story after another, like just lots of stuff, lots of information has been delivered on stream. People now know things. <laughs> it's it's been awesome. Um, people are cool. People are awesome on this channel. <laughs> Ah, oh, thanks, Turret. I, I love how you had to, like, know things. Ah, oh, yes. Um, but I think we might actually finally get back to the game. It may be my end, but it seems like the game value is a tad... A tad... Oh, let me see here. Let me look.
All right, I turned it down a little bit, so hopefully that works. There we go, yeah. I never checked the game audio after I started it. Now that we're using a Super Nintendo and everything, it was kind of coming in a little louder than I'd like, so. But who cares? The audio is awesome. Stry J, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly over there to India. Vanessa's gonna enjoy the scenery, and I'm gonna enjoy kicking your ass. That's what's gonna happen. All right. Crowd triggers a higher one with the tracks. Um, gotcha, dude. So let's actually get back to it. Um, remember the earthquake you just had? No, I don't. No, airhead, huh? Well, never mind. What? Okay, seriously, why does everyone insult Chrono? Like, what the fuck? What kind of fucking town is this? This is not a fucking friendly town at all. Everybody I run into outside of the, like, training center fucking shits on me. Except for my mother. Like, oh my god. I don't mind if a hot man kicks my ass. Shut up, Stry J. Alright. Is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, a chest I can't open. Okay. Yeah, I forgot you need, like, something later in the game to open all those. I want that chest back there. All right. We're actually going to leave. Ticket office... If only Fritz would return, I'd ask for nothing more. Sometimes a mysterious whirlpool appears in the ocean near here. What could cause that? Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to pour A. Let's see what else we can see here. Is there anything in these things? Probably not. I mean, does the game look good to you guys? Like, is there like... Like, it, it looks fine on your end. No, like, issues with the visual or anything like that. All right. It's Chrono Trigger, so it's beautiful. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lean Square with her father, Taban, unveiling her new invention. All right, all right, well, let's go to the square. Rah! Dude, I hate my bed so much it doesn't have you in it. Oh, shut up. Um, Archer, time out, J for being lonely in bed. And then me having to hear about it. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun! You can have him? I don't want him. I don't want him. That's the point of the timeout. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. Rudest town ever. Guess the winner? Sure. Oh yeah, they're racing around. That's right.
I'm still waiting for the race to end. Oh, that thing. Yay, I get silver twice silver points. Woohoo! She's telling him he can have you. Shut up, Rancor. <laughs> You guys are awful. Ah, oh, terrible, you terrible people. Don't you have work to do, Supernatural Pudding? By the way, I just came up with a nickname for you, um, and you're gonna love it. I'm gonna start calling you that from now on. I'm just gonna start calling you Pudding. Hey, Pudding. What's going on? Um, I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Uh, yeah, we'll buy something. Wow, that's a lot of... Hmm... Yeah, sure. We'll uh, we'll buy the iron blade. All right. I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. All right, I will. Um, I um. There we go. How about I show you how I came up with that name? You will bang your head against the wall. Oh man. Sure, show me how you came up with that name. I'm, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> uh, opportunity knocks. Shut up, Archer. All right, so I don't think we need to talk to any of these other people. Let's move on. I will show you later. Ouch, that hurt. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, uh, my pendant. You're just upset that strategy fighter turned you down. No, I don't get upset, Archer. For every rejection comes... For every about five rejections, something, someone will accept me. It's fine. He's just one of five. Oh, thank goodness. My pendant it has a lot of sentimental value. I have it back. Uh, yes. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Uh, sure. No lies. No lies here. You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is, uh, Marl. Um, Marl. And you're... Rano? What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. <laughs> Don't be throwing up my, my ghastly emote at me. The, the ghastly emote is not to be referenced towards me in any way, shape, or form. I can give you that to spam on me, you ass. Um, Keep going if you want to demo Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Sure. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. All right. 
Ow. Fucking rude. That's how you do it. Hey, SJ, what's going on, dude? I lost you one. Here's 15 points. Now wasn't that fun. All right, let's move on. SJ, dude. Just hanging out, about to start work, you dude. I've had a very lively last hour of stream. Um crazy first hour of stream um we'll just leave it at that you might want to catch a bod later dude it was insane um the battle theme for this game is the best i know right i love the battle theme the battle themes i love the boss themes in this game the boss themes are super awesome they're still setting up why don't you come back in a while ah I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? Uh, no. Just between us, I heard that the king is distressed about his over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I'd like to see how wild she really is. <laughs> I like to ha see how wild women are too. It's all right. Oh, oh yeah, dude. If you if you watch the first hour, SJ, you'll you'll learn some things. You'll know some things. That, that's that's all you need to know. Where's my kitty? It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. All right, all right, I can compete. Ready, set, go. Yeah, yeah. Only five cans, is that the best you can do? You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? To catch you up to speed, Cool had a crush on Stryjay, but turned, but he turned Cool down, and he's very upset at that. He's very upset that Turret Man has better hair and smaller nipples. What the fuck? <laughs> that is not, uh, Mr. T. What? Seriously, like. How did you get roped into this nonsense? Uh, man. Uh <laughs> oh, man. I, I love the, uh, the old, uh, the tribal theme song they do here. Can I dance? The Jurassic Rhythm. Hell yeah. X, Y, and L, the dance. All right. Let's do this. They had fun. Archer versus hitting the Drake's already to gay. <laughs> Jurassic rhythm. <laughs> Dude, when I get into bed with people, uh, my rhythm's a little more prehistoric, if you know what I mean. Still setting up, Jesus. How long does it take for them to set up? Um, wanted to exchange 10 silver coins for 5 gold. Um, or for 50 gold. Um, yes. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Alright, cool. Oh, uh, don't go there, Archer. That's not cool. Don't go there. This is the renowned Ten of Horrors. Spend your five silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spanking thing shows about this dot. How many silver points would you like to pay? Aw, uh, we don't have enough points. We suck. Uh, Karate Gi, Bronze Helm. We'll go Karate Gi. Um. There we go. Oh, uh, you got it. Uh, seriously? Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, Lucas' device is all set up. She's at the north end of the square. All right, finally. Just got that device set up. Took her forever. All right, here we go. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. Give me just a second. There's no need to drag me by the arm like some kidnapper. Hi, I would like some of this. Very young lady. Thanks for waiting. Step a right on up. Any of you have the time and the courage. Our Super Dimension Warp is the invention of the century! He is a supernatural stud. <laughs> Ghouls is such a stud muff and I'm selling his... What? I'm selling his time? Who wants to start the bidding at 50? What the fuck is this? No. No. This is not a thing! I know she can hear me. No, this is not a thing! This is not a thing! No. No, 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 no. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. All right. Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop onto the left pod. All systems on. Begin emergency transfer. Oh, wow. That was great. Yep, 50 bits channel points since I don't know the difference. No, no. N this is ridiculous. There will be no bidding like it's the royal town hall like it's a royal auction on my channel no none of this none of this none of this archer time out supernatural pudding
Sometimes, sometimes people just need a timeout. What's with the googly eyes? Do as I ask, you time her out. <laughs> no, you can support me in about 10 seconds. Um, Salty Battle Axe, what's going on? <laughs> uh, apparently uh, we're timing out my girlfriend 30 seconds you can come back in 30 seconds so yeah maybe she'll learn a lesson maybe not but we'll see I saw you were on Fall Guys yesterday but I had family over how was the stream um, it was fun. We were uh, playing the, the season five content for the first time yesterday. And uh, it, like I said, it was all right. Uh, we had fun. Uh, Mal RPG was with us. Uh, my buddy Mystic J was with us. Um, I think there was, um, there was a fourth. Who was the fourth? Oh. Yeah, I had another guy from my community in there as well. So yeah, we, uh, we had a full party we were playing with, so. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully we can get you in there at another time, Salty. It'd be, uh, super chill to have you there, dude. Psh, I'm not done now. You should know better. Oh, I, I know better. Trust me. I'm aware. Um, that's awesome. What a kick. I want to try it too. Huh? Hey, Chrono. Why don't you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on, Chrono. I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps ab aboard the machine. Don't go away. I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way. Throw the switch. Okay, everyone. Let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. What's happening? My pennant, it's... Huh? Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. It couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Rano! You're actually going to do it. What a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine's going to send you, but I haven't... We haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Power to the full. Roger. More. Give me more power. Roger. 
there. We did it. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono. Time travel. Exciting. All right. Where am I at? Oh. Well, they'd be ugly. Hiya. Ow. 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 Eat shit and die. Yeah, yeah. Alright, figure out which way I gotta go here. I had to be at work early. Oh. So you're going in now, Damon? All right, leveled up. Yeah, we learned Cyclone. Ooh, treasure chest. Taking a break now. Ah, I gotcha. Man, are you like working 12 hours or something today or what? Alright, I'll fight all you. Die! Ow! There we go, nice little critical. Yeah! Have a good one, Damon. And we are somewhere not familiar. A millennial fair here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600, and the 21st uh, King of Guardia reigns. We've been at war for years. When will it end? You're going to fight Magus' army? Wonderful. But remember to equip yourself with the weapons you buy. No window shoppers. What do you want? Um... I don't have a whole lot of money, so... We'll go with that for now. Thanks, see ya. I'm Banta, the blacksmith. I forged a bell for the king to present to his beloved Queen Lean. I lost it when the queen disappeared. I just couldn't keep working on the bell, but now it's back to business as usual. My husband wants a daughter who is as intelligent as she is beautiful.
Where am I? Are you stupid? This is the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus's army. You did know that, of course, right? Um, no. By the power of Bob Ross. <laughs> Lovely. We need more ignorant strangers around here. Millennial Fair, what are you crazy? What nonsense? The Magus's army destroyed Zanan Bridge. The South Continent is inaccessible. What a relief. They finally found Queen Lean wandering up in the mountains. She must be glad to be home. Everyone was worried. The king freaked when he when the queen took off. We all thought Magus had grabbed her. Thank goodness she's safe. Are you a stranger here too? I'm Toma, the explorer. You're buying. I'll tell you a story. How about it? Cider, please. Thanks. It's about the missing queen. She disappeared while visiting that cathedral to the west and. Beg your pardon? What? They found her? Never mind. I was sure there was something fishy about that cathedral. Alright. Yep, alright. Hmm. All right, so I gotta get a drink and I'm actually gonna grab some lunch for some reason I'm like starving so I if you guys are need lunch I encourage you to get lunch all the same and I also or if it's breakfast time for you because you're on the west coast um, get some breakfast but I will be right back uh, and then we'll play some more Chrono Trigger. Stay tuned. Encounter the enemy requesting backup. Just encounter the intruder. Send in the search team.
careful. He's still in this area. Understood. Reinforcements are on the way. Intensify security measures. It was nothing. All clear. The situation is normal. All clear. Intruder sighted. Send additional personnel. was nothing. All clear. Encounter the enemy requesting backup. search team. I need some backup gear.
still in this area. Understood. Reinforcements are on the way. Intensify security measures. It was nothing. All clear. The situation is normal. All clear. Intruder sighted. Send additional personnel. That was a horribly long break. Fuck you, Archer. I don't. I don't care how long my breaks are. I could have taken an even longer break. I wouldn't care. It was my fault. Yeah, it was Putin's fault. <laughs> um, get his UTIs in check. It's okay. <laughs> we demand less long ass break. <laughs> There's no union unionization here. You can't have that shit here. No union. I demand better pay and dental. Fuck off, Takanomi. By the way, thanks for. St Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Um, I know you're at work, so... Um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we already have three members. Oh, my God. And you are just one. Yeah, I'm the one with the power in the channel. You you have to remember that. Because I, 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 I could... Three is greater than one. Hey, Takanome uh, graduated through uh, grade school math. I'm 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 a pre I'm, I'm glad to see it. You guys want to troll? I can troll too. It's it's, it's not hard. Eleven minus three equals eight viewers. M minus three equals five. <laughs> Uh, you guys are too much. All right. I can do math too. <laughs> I'm glad we're all good mathematicians in this channel. This guy threw rocks at me. I'm not a fan. Yeah, math is a good time. I, I like math. Math is awesome. Ow. All right, I'm going back to lurking. No problem, dude. How, uh, hopefully your uh, work day is good, dude. Man. All right, cool. Ooh, 
a power tab. Um, there we go. <coughs> That clone their ass. Got him. Oh, that was a troll pickup. Eh, interesting. And realize there was troll pickups in in this forest. All right, here we go. Die. By the way, uh, my girlfriend showed me uh, where she came up with her name Supernatural Puddin'. Yeah, it's a little weird. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, the wall would be bloodied with my head if I actually did that. Can't believe that's a thing. You would. You don't have to go in later? Or... Oh, okay. I thought you usually go by now. Or... Oh, okay. Just easier. All right, um, ooh, birds, kill him. Prano's name doesn't have the H due to a limit on his name size that the game has. Oh, you know what? I just now, I just now realized that. Paul Kogan as a nanny is also a thing. Oh, I know, dude. I'm 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 assuming you mean nanny by that. By the way, Tony, how's your week going? It's been a long ass time since I've seen Hulk Hogan's uh, Mr. Nanny movie. I mean, I heard it's not very good. Ah, there's a chest, okay. Sealed with mysterious energy. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, the day's going uh, great here, Tony. Uh, we've, uh, it's, the first part of the, the stream's been real exciting. Uh, people finding out a lot more about me than they probably, uh, came on here and bargained for. Um... Someone had to redeem a, uh, a bad dating experience, and, uh, well, they got an experience from it. Halt! Who goes there? Check out that hair! Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magus's troopers? Hardly. This kid would never have made the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. Yar <laughs> har Now beat it, shrimp! Stop that at once! Queen Ling! Show your manners, this is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. Check out that hair, it's probably a main protagonist. I know, right? <laughs> you refuse to obey my orders? Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. <laughs> Man, I, I love the Chrono Cross soundtrack, guys. This soundtrack's always been one of my favorites. It's 
probably why I've uh, this game hit like hit a chord with me. Obey, you scum. Exactly. Obey. Magus's troops are strangely quiet. Something's about to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take snooze. I'll snooze. I'm hurting. I feel better. So non bridge is our last line of defense. We must guard it with our lives. So you're the one who helped the queen. Talk to the maid if you need to rest. Sir Cyrus was the commander of the knights. His mission was to protect the king and queen. He and a friend left on a journey ten years ago. No one has heard from them since. What a relief the queen's been found. Now we can cast her on the war. Oh, if only Sir Cyrus were here. You've heard of him, haven't you? Why does everyone assume I know everything? No. You don't know of Sir Cyrus? From which land do you come? Or are you simply a fool? Um, did you know that Robo's theme song is never gonna give you up? <laughs> no, I did not. Long ago, a beast called Yakura or Yakra lured in the western forest, but after the cathedral was built, Yakra disappeared. We're thankful for that. It's actually true. They stole the theme. Ah, who uh, who sings it's uh, never going to give you up? The song sounds familiar. Who sings that? Rick S. Astley. All right. I'm going to have to actually listen to that later. All right. The, the chef's got a nasty temper. Dining rooms for us soldiers. Feel free to grab a bite. Um, not really that hungry. Well, I am. I just got a sandwich, but here's your food. All right. Yeah. One of the greatest of all time. Rick Astley is better than music. Wow. So, you say, Queen Lynn. This is no place for kids. Wait, maybe you'd know. What's this ice cream stuff that Queen Lynn wants so badly? Alright. All these dudes just storming up in here. Where's supper? understand that you are the one who saved my dear wife the queen but can you tell me what happened Lem's been acting rather odd she seems to have lost her coral pin which is something she guarded with her life forgive me you must be tired we can talk about this later please rest in the knight's quarters downstairs to the left uh, let's go this way first
I know these ge these games, these type of games back in the SNES always had like hidden passages and shit. I have to fucking look around. Got 100 G's. Hell yeah. Yep. Very mysterious indeed. Hmm. What do you want? Get out of my face. People say the Chancellor's gone crazy, but I don't believe it. The Chancellor's a decent man. Why? He goes to the cathedral every day. Hmm. Bronze mail, huh? Is that useful? Why did I even bother with the karate gi? Go this way. And we got another tonic. Um, nothing else. All right, let's move up. Nope, nope, nope. All right, moving up. Queen awaits. Ooh, treasure chest. Ether. The queen married into the family ten years ago. She still looks so youthful. In fact, she looks even younger now than when on her wedding day. You saved our queen. You don't look like that. You don't look that tough. Man, everyone shits on Chrono in this game. It's ridiculous. I forgot how bad people shit on Chrono. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, Your Highness. Come nearer, sir. <laughs> Told you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me. But everyone calls me Len. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. Something's wrong. What's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me. Oh no, where'd she go? Be right back. Need to more make more documentation for our union. Oh, okay. Get out of here with that shit. Come on. Has she dismissed you already? You were polite, of course. You didn't do anything funny, did you? Of course not. Are you sure? I almost cried at the part when I first played this. Oh, yeah, it's crazy, right? She just disappears. Chrono! <laughs> You're okay. Did you find the girl? Gone? What do you mean she's gone? 
Hmm, it's just as I thought. I knew I recognized her. And this looks identical to the castle in our time. I, I'll bet they mistook that girl from her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. Marl, that is. Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Len. Queen Len has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history's been changed. Marl looks so much like Len that they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But the real queen is killed. Marl will simply disappear. There might be still time. If we could save Len, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must have happened to the Queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Hurry, we have to find the real Queen. Um, actually. Oh, she already has a karate gi. Like, why did I buy a karate gi? That was a waste of money. Um... Time to go. All right, let me get my drink out of the freezer, guys. Hold on. Let's continue on. Archer, do not, do not antagonize that. Uh, there's no unions that are going to be formed on my channel. Birds are not friendly. Yeah, that's right. Hit them. And dead.
and we move along. Bridge is being fixed because Magus's army trashed it, but until under until Sir Cyrus returns, we'll fight Magus's army tooth and nail. Alright, so I think we gotta go to Cathedral. We want nothing but world peace. We're a piece of the world. Tee hee. Okay. You might like to stick around for the organ recital. It's a real killer. Ooh. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, er, I mean, delightful looking humans. Archer, you're gonna make me fucking Google translate that, aren't you? God damn you. We must stand firm against Cool and his oppressive management, leaving people in limbo for breaks that last far too long. It's time for a change. Time for the coolest union. No, that is not a thing. That will not be a thing, no. Not a thing. I will shut you down immediately. Don't make me take um, your uh, mod privileges from you, Ar Archer. That's what you're giving up in, in turn for the uh, union. No union. Oh dear, it looks like you could use some food and a place to rest. What did you find? A hairpin. That's Guardian's Royal Crest. Awesome. Got some crazy bitches up in here. Yeah. She's got no text. Oh boy. Now I'm slowed. That's not good. Not good. Still not dead yet, jeez. Damage still alive. Fucking crown is getting lit the fuck up here. Actually, we'll have her heal. There we go. Uh, not heal, tonic. There we go.
Come on, just finish her off. Let's go. Hell yeah. Phew, that was close. Ah. Hell yeah. Lord thy guard, and thou allowing the enemy in. Thou art here to save the queen. The lair is deep within. Will they accompany me? A frog? Chrono, it's a talking frog. I hate frogs. My guys dog down incurred thy trust. Very well. I I I do as thee please. I shall save the queen. Wait. You don't seem like a bad uh person frog thing. I mean Chrono, what should we do? Go with the frog, duh. I'll just have to handle it. I mean, deal with him. What's your name? That uh, frog will do. Frog will do. Doesn't belong here. What's going on? All right. Ne nice to meet you, frog. Mayhap a hidden door lurks nigh. Let us search the environs. Does it belong here? What's going on? Hopefully you're having a good day. Saving up still? Uh, what you saving up for doesn't belong here. Out of curiosity. Thanks for uh, stopping by, Takanomi. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. The ad command or pick a cool game. Oh, nice, nice. If you, um, so like I said, if, if you, or as I've told other people before, if you do an ad command, it has to be something reasonable. Um, if you decide to pick a cool game, I'll let you know what's gonna, like, good games that I plan to play on, that are on the docket that I already have in mind. And if there's something you don't hear that you want played, you let me know and we'll add it to the queue. Because, I mean, there is a queue, but it's not, it's not like, because some streamers will be like, I have this backlog with like 20, 30, 40 games and I throw it on my About Me page. No, it's, I have, I only queue up a few games at a time, and that way people, if people want me to play a particular game, we can insert it in. So, that's kind of how we operate. All right, let's kill these assholes. 
Ow! Don't beat up on frog. Dead. Ooh, take a shot. Wow. Let's uh let's tonic Luca here. There we go. Um, item. There we go. Alright, looking around here. Alright. Found the secret Naga Nagat Bromide. Hey everyone, humans! They're after the bromide! Get him! No, can't make a command that forces you to play the crew or other board games. Well, what I have decided to do is next Monday. So we'll do our board game next Sunday like normal. And then Monday also, we'll do a board game night. So we'll do double board game night Sunday, Monday next week. That is, people with people demanding the love for to play board games and be able to request and get in. We'll, we'll, we're, we're gonna make Monday a board game night. Corman, what's going on? Time traveling, you see. Yes, you do. You see the time travel. Um, definitely playing some Chrono Cro or Chrono Trigger. Um, having ourselves a good time playing this, dude. How's your, uh, how's your week going, by the way? And thanks for the contribution. Everybody, anybody who's contributed to the 12-hour stream, I appreciate it. So I don't think I caught everybody who did that earlier. Cool. It's going all right so far. That's good. That's good to hear. Um, I saw you uh, playing some retro games last night. I was actually lurking on your stream. Um, I didn't get a chance to say, hey, I was kind of doing a lot of stuff here on the desk and some other stuff. But uh, I was lurking and I did watch some of your gameplay. Um, well... I was playing a turd last night. Yeah, it kind of looked like a turd. I, I was just about to ask, what in the hell were you playing? Because you kind of looked like a turd. <laughs> Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. Ah, I think I've heard of that before. Like the name kind of sounds familiar. We got one steel saber. All right, cool. It's a game based on the 96 Olympics, Olympics mascot. Ah, God, it's crazy. Back in the day, they literally made a game for everything. Like there was a game about 
every stupid thing you can think of there was like they even made video games off the 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 the, the seven up spot like it's ridiculous like if, if you bought checks mix back in the day you got a video game um with like that looked like a, a doom ripoff of of Chex Mix well like it was basically a doom ripoff of a Chex Mix oriented theme like it was but that game is actually kind of cool cool spot oh yes 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 they made a remaster did they did they all right trying to figure out where to go here Fire World, let's go. Great Yuzo K Koshiro soundtrack, really? Hmm. Hey, what's with the disguise? No need for them here. It's almost my shift. I hate pretending to be human. So repulsive. Yakra is so smart. His plan to capture the Chancellor and take his place worked perfectly. Now the Queen's captive and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Soundtrack was Tommy Tallarico. Ah, okay, okay. The, the ones who we ate recently weren't so bad, and those two soldiers we caught look rather plump and juicy. I'll look in on Magus' statue before my shift. Alright, we need to go in here. Are you here to save Queen Lynn? Oh, what a relief. There was no need for you to come rescue me. The Master Yakura is very kind. I've decided to stay here. And why don't you make yourselves at home too? How nice of you to come. I'm sure Yakura will be just as pleased. Why not rest in here until he's available? Don't be in such a hurry. Enjoy yourselves first. mean to do that oh well oh yeah die Dearest Magus, your flashing eyes like stars and flowing hair like waves atop the sea. No sad sunny day or any frightful bright place can get us down. As long as you're near, there's nothing to fear. Magus, oh Magus, our hero Magus.
Got a defender. Got a speed belt. Um. Bigger two, speed two. We'll give her more defense. All right. Fire Whirl. There we go. Oh, Mal. The oh, Mal. What, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you redeem? Man up. Are we not healing? Are we not healing? gotta check what what they are fuck no healing no healing for the next 15 minutes you gotta be kidding me mal oh you guys you guys are fun all right so i need to know do save points heal you in this game I thought I had to like activate something in here. All right. I don't know what to activate. Hold on. Hmm. All right. What an asshole. I gotta fucking either kill everything or... All right. So how did I word it exactly? I need to look at it. All right, so would uh, would anybody think uh, restoring MP is a healing action? Like action points, you know, is restoring MP uh, a healing action? I don't know if that's what you guys would consider a healing action. consider restoring HP healing. Okay, maybe I gotta hit this. There we go. Got a power tab. You're humans. They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. 
Inside this building, there's a room dedicated to maggots. Heard something about a treasure there. I just went in that room. I found two treasures, but... I mean, if that's all there really was... Do save points heal? I need to know. I just walked over it. Um, it does not heal. Okay. Alright. So I went ahead and saved it. Uh, new me! What's going on? New me, I'm in the middle of a uh, no... Uh, of a man up challenge so I can I cannot heal I cannot heal my party or any of my characters at least still for the next 11 minutes 10 minutes now for the next 10 minutes I cannot heal my party members I'm doing good I'm doing good um it's been a pretty pretty exciting day I'm not gonna lie um lots of things have happened whoa whoa Ah. Okay. Okay. Shit, I I I uh, picked the wrong guy. Got him. Still alive? You just die. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be dodging some enemies here and then fighting some others that hopefully I can just kill them kind of like that. Got a tonic, got a heal. What's this? No entry. God damn it, I missed. You're right. You're right, Mal. I got this. Don't worry. I'm not worried about it. I'll show you what's up. All right. All right. All right. That's what's up. That is what's up. And of course it's a room I couldn't fucking uh I couldn't avoid the enemy. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. Alright, let's take these guys out with the fire whirl. All right. Oh shit, I keep forgetting uh, frogs there waiting to get activated. There we go. Hell yeah. One iron sword. 
Um, gonna be finishing it on Friday no matter what it takes. Hey, knew me, that's how I felt about Rogue Galaxy yesterday. I even streamed longer than I normally did in the mornings. J just to get it done yesterday. I totally get it. Um... So overall, did you enjoy Grandia 2, Numi? Um, first of all, compare Grandia 2 to the first Grandia, and then secondly, are you going to be playing any more Grandia? And if not playing Grandia, what else are you going to go to? Um, all right, no healing. I'm sitting here like I want to heal, but no healing. Because now's a jackass. Yeah, that's right. I said it first on my channel. Um, put, uh, yeah, put Rogue Galaxy on your list. Okay, cool. Oh, whoa, I almost activated that. Um... Oh shit, I didn't save. I got Oh shit, they're they're respawned. I would I wasn't I wouldn't worry about saving right now except I can't heal. So now I got to worry about it. I can't heal for another five minutes. There we go. These guys are rude. Ah, damn it. The less of them, the better. Ow, Chrono's down to 10. There we go, there we go. I know these monsters are so rude, Zoomy. Or, uh, knew me. <laughs> uh, save point. Uh oh. Fuck you guys. Oh, down goes Chrono. Oh no, 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 your name's Numi. For some reason I thought it was Zumi, but. Oh no, I, I, I will call you as your name states. All right, uh, we'll save here. Does, is Chron does Chrono stay dead? Like, oh, he's got one hit point, okay. I didn't change my name last last week. See, I thought I knew you by a different name. I I, I could have swore I knew you by a different name, but I didn't realize like how many minutes left. I got three minutes left, Mal. Three minutes left, and we're at the boss. You, how you get in here, frog? Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Be careful. Oh, come on, Mal. Come on, that's not fair. That's not fair.
Four months down, a billion to go. It's always a slice, buddy. I'm glad we've become friends, have a blast doing our best to entertain the masses. Whether it's on here or the Archerverse, it's always a great time. Stay awesome. I appreciate you, Archer. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. Um, much appreciated, my friend. KJ with the contribution. So, oh my God, you guys are brutal. So I'm left with abilities. I have to, I can't use the attack action. I have to use abilities. So, cause that's what it is. It's, if I remember right. And I'm getting raided by Grim King. Holy shit. Ah, oh, you guys are awesome. Ah, oh, thank you for the raid, Grim. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Stupid frog. It's time for you jumped off this mortal coil. True form, change! Raytar, Raytrar, good to see you. Uh, appreciate you being here, Grim. Thank you for the raid. Timbo Jr. Glad you're here. Uh, reverts to Yakra. It's, dude, it's, it's rough. I, I haven't been able to use heal items in the last, like... Actually, I can use heal items now. It's been 15 minutes. So, yeah, I haven't been able to use heal items in the last 15 minutes. Now, I can't use the basic attack command in this battle. I have I have to use... Um, I have to use abilities only. Um, because Mal is such an awesome guy and... And redeem the uh, no attacking um, challenge that is in my uh, my channel point rewards. So, ah, uh, gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. Yeah, I, I was severely beat the shit before I got here. Uh, we, we just gotta heal up a bit. We're gonna take a few turns healing, because... Yeah, Ma Mal's, a, Mal's a straight up boss. You are not wrong, chat. What the fuck? Rude. Extract this fucker. No basic attack command. So we'll do flame toss. Yeah. So, yeah. See, it depends on the game what's available. So like, yeah, with, with as early as it is now, the only way you'd get through is with techs. So that's there's yeah. Tech only, which means I have to rely on MP a lot too. Audiences love the challenge. I know, right? I know. It's why it's why those points are that those point redemptions are there. And uh, Mal likes to redeem them at the most opportune time. We made you play active too. I know, right? I was I was literally gonna probably pick active anyways, but you guys encouraged it, so I'm like, fuck yeah, we're gonna go active. Extract this fucker. All right, all right, all right. Extract again. I need to heal Lu Lucia here.
Uh, he needs... Man, we need MP. There we go. Stop that. Um, the challenge for the no attacking is got nine for no basic attack command is nine more minutes. I have to use uh, techniques for at least nine more minutes or items if I had items to do the trick. I'm just glad the no healing thing is off because the no healing thing would be brutal right now. We got him. I was actually running low on items too. That's that was another scary thing. I was running low on items. <laughs> All right. No problem, buddy. We do it. You came to rescue me. Thank you, Frog. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I thank thee, Krano, and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Hell yeah. Good shit. Good shit all around. <laughs> Phew, thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. Oh, your highness. As you can see, I am undamaged. All right, I got a mid ether. All right. Let's return to the castle. You had me worry, Lin. That no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. I failed to protect Queen Lin. I have disgraced thee. Frog! Well, uh, figure out what to do next now. Yeah, 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 shut up. Thank you, Crown, but who is that girl we found in the canyon? Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not saved me. By the way, where's the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. Oh yeah, go up. Go up. Go up. All right. There she is. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I can't recall it all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. And C Mark is hosting me. What's up, my dude? I appreciate you. What's going on? Hopefully uh, you've been well. Um, you were playing some awesome Sega games last night. I caught, uh, I caught some, uh, Decap Attack. I caught some, um, uh, Comic Zone. Um, I think there was another one I saw you playing last night, too. Um, fucking Chrono Trigger hype? Hell yeah. Is that what it's like to die? Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You risked your life to help me, too? Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm Princess Nadia. My father's King Guardia. The 
the 33rd. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair, but if you had known my identity... Prano, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Eh, wrong. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Chrono. Played some Golden Axe too. Hell yeah, Seamark. That's yeah, hell yeah. Comic Zone, um, Golden Axe, good shit. Like I love my old school beat 'em up. So yeah, I love some old school Golden Axe. That game, that game's fucking hard. Like, if you play the original, like, Golden Axe, it, like, to its full extent, it is a hard fucking game to beat. Um, I'll be getting back in the Streets of Rage too. Well, see, Mark, tomorrow night, if you show up, um, I don't know when your stream normally, see, Mark, but tomorrow night, we're doing, um, more of the DLC content for Streets of Rage 4. So if you haven't checked that out yet, you should definitely stop by for a few minutes, check that out. And see if it uh, fits your fancy because it's a lot of fun. The survival mode they release is super cool. Um, it's kick-ass. New characters to play with and everything. Just man, they did so much awesome content for seven for just over seven bucks. I've seen some of the vids. They look amazing. Hell yeah, dude! Definitely. All right, let's see if we can go home. Ah, yeah. You're the real Queen Len, huh? You really could be my twin. Well, you two better get along, or I'll be in big trouble. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Excuse me? Um, never mind. I guess it's time to go. <laughs> was a fault of mine which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. Eee! Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you have potential to be a good swordsman. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. All right, moving along, and uh, I want to double check equipments here. Luca, Marl. We'll just put that on her for now. What's what's the ribbon do? Drag plus two? Alright, yeah. That works. Right. Uh, we'll save here. It's fine. Alright. Alright, so I can actually use the attack command again. So we're good. I just checked the time. We're all we're all set for that. So thank Mal. Thank Mal for redeeming those challenges. Those were fun. Get out of this force real quick, and then we will uh, get to the next part of the story here. I assume we go this way. Alright, kick some ass real quick. That was rude. Hey, 
Man, this guy's being a jerk. There we go. Okay, got a bounce. Got to go do me cooking and chill with some anime before the wife gets home and watch Orville. No problem, dude. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out. You're always appreciated here, Grim King. And uh, hopefully someday I'll get to taste your cooking one day. That'd be awesome. All right. I think we go this way. Uh, thanks for the contribution, Seamark. Uh, how do we get home? Your, your Highness, sir, Princess, will... Please, call me Marl. Well then, Marl, observe. Wow! Luca, you're amazing! Ain't it the truth? Oh, um, I mean... Enough with the false modesty. You have a real gift. I would trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. It's kind of a portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. Alright, coming, Chrono? <laughs> Always enjoy watching. And it sounded less creepy in my head. Hey, no problem, dude. As I always tell people, it's only creepy if someone else thinks it's creepy. Otherwise, it's fine. It's it's okay. Phew, we're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come with me to the castle? I'd like to come. I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Marl. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months! And I've had some new friends, too! Prano, be a gentleman and take her home. I got some work to do. See you soon, Luca! Will you escort me home, Prano? Whoa, Marl, you could stop jumping now. Hey, hey. If, if a girl gets excited, you don't tell her to not get excited, all right? that That's just how it is. That, that's how you remain single. All right. I need to visit. I, need, I actually need to visit an item shop, so we'll visit the item shop here. Mark it. All right, let's, let's get some stuff here. Iron bow. Maiden suit. Three bronze helms. See, I like, I, I, I love old school item enhancement like this, where it's like, I just simply buy an item, it, you know it's the next upgrade, and you upgrade it. I hate when games are like, well, there's this thing, there's this thing, there's this thing, and then there's this thing. They all got different prices, but they all like give the same stat, but they're all like, you know, there there's varying degree of differences between the items, and it's just like, what do I buy? What do I need? And it's just like, sometimes I kind of like the just the clean, like, okay, this one's strictly better. Let's just move on and buy it. You know, sometimes I just appreciate that. Um.
All right. Um. I think we're good. I think we're good. Marl, Iron Bow, Bronze Helm, Main Suit. I can't remember. Is there item synthesis in this game? Asking for a friend. Is there is there item synthesis in this game? I can't remember. I know at some point you like synthesize and make like the Mazamune or whatever, but like, is there like actual item synthesis in this game? If anybody's able to answer that. I don't know if there's anybody in the chat right now that's like right there on the computer. So I, I just kind of want to know if there's anybody that knows that. I won't sell the shit for now, but if there's shit I really don't need to have in my inventory, I'll sell it. So, um, that's beautiful. Poor A. Mm. I don't think we need anything from Poor A right now, right? Uh, did you finish Rogue Galaxy? Yes, I did, Toya. Um, we finished it yesterday. Um, thanks for the 12-hour contribution, buddy. Um, so yes, we finished it, Toya. So the last dungeon, I shit you not, man, was like the trolliest dungeon ever because it was very long, very winding. And I think you understand because you played uh, Dark Cloud. So you would understand these long, tedious, monotonous dungeons. But there was forks in this final dungeon. And I shit you not, if I would go a certain fork, it could, la it could go for like 20, 30 minutes down this fork and then eventually find out it's a dead end. And I have to come back and go the other way through the fork. Yeah, I would find long stretch stretches of dead ends and not realize it until I come upon it. Because, yeah, you don't you don't get like an actual like full map um, of the of the regions until you hit all the teleporters in the game. So there was that and then like you get to the very final boss and it's like a complete long eight parter boss with basically they have every individual character in the game fight a certain part of the boss on their own and you have to control each character and fight that part. Um, and once you do all that you fight the final boss which is kind of gimmicky and then it's over. And I, I was just like, God, that was like the longest, like arduous and most te one of the most tedious boss battles I ever fought in my life. Um, but like overall, like I was happy with the the revisit, the experience. Like I enjoyed the characters, and even though some of the characters, um, their stories are a little more developed than others, and you can tell that. Um, you know, some of it is just like, all right, this is a uh, good shit. And some of it's like, okay, whatever. But, um, like I said, there's so much side material and it even unlocks a final hundred floor dungeon that I could have done after the fact. So I could go back and re and load it up and do like a uh, hundred floor dungeon that's available after the game. And would you recommend the game? Yeah, I would still recommend the game. Like, it's still fun. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, the dungeon grinding is a little tedious, but that's why there's so many other, like, um, things to do. Like, the Insectron, the, uh, the, the hunts, like, the, um, the weapon synthesis, if you care about completing the whole frog log. Um, and, you know, cleaning up, like, random mobs, you know, 
enough of a mob. Like, there's enough to do. There's plenty to do to, like, maybe take a break from the dungeon grinding and go do something else. Uh, making parts in the factory. So, like, there's always enough to be like, okay, I need to stop this for a moment. Take a breather. I've been doing this for, like, two hours now. I can just maybe build some items or I can play some, have the insects go at it. Or maybe try to catch some insects every now and again. And then go back and explore some more dungeons and keep going further in the story. So, yeah. I would definitely recommend it. Um, if I had to rate it out of 10, I guess, I would, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. A good solid 8 out of 10. Um... It's not, it's not a game that's like the most amazing game you ever played, but it's definitely a very solid RPG that, you know, once you, you, you'll you play it once and you'll be like, okay, I'm thankful I played it. Now, am I in any hurry to go back and do that final dungeon? Not really. <laughs> not really. But it's one of those things, like, I think I could take a long break from it and then come back and then maybe be willing to do it. So, that's one of those things. Um, Fancy Cat, thank you for the contribution. Uh, much appreciated, guys. Well, where, where's our contributions at, by the way? Where are we at? 84%. Man, you guys are really hitting it up. I appreciate you guys. You guys are doing it. Um, like I said, we get that to 100. We will, like... I'm thinking about doing it on a Saturday. Would you guys want it? Like, I for the people, for you guys in chat right now, if I was to do a 12 hour stream, would you rather me do it on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Friday? What kind of day would be like where you guys feel like you feel you could be like involved and you could stop by and say hi and you wouldn't be so busy? Do it like it fits you best. Saturday, yeah. I was thinking of Saturday too, because Saturday's not a day I normally stream. But I also hate like streaming on days that I don't normally stream because then not only is it another day you guys gotta see me, ugh, um, it's an also another day that it's a it's me streaming on an off day where other people normally don't expect me to stream, and then I'm streaming on their time and I'm like, I feel like I'm being kind of rude. I don't know. It's just the manners that are built in me, I guess. But I'm feeling I'm a little rude streaming on a day like that. But maybe if it's a special occasion like it, like I planned it to be, it's okay. Maybe it's okay, you know? I'm watching hentai every day, so I never... <laughs> Ah, uh, good to know, buddy. Uh, Christian Cool Toy for uh, no, Archer. That is not a thing. Not a thing, Archer. Get out of here with that. Um. Oh yeah, we we gotta go to the castle. That's right. You know the sacrifices I bring to hang out with you here? <laughs> no, no, Toya, go on. Let me know. It Remind me again what sacrifices you make to hang out here. <laughs> um, Dang it, I, I lurk raided again. But hey, this is great. I love Crown Trigger. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm trying to read your name. Uh, Sorry, your name's blue and I got the, the dark overlay. Uh, Tatiro, okay. Good to see you, Tatiro. Welcome to the welcome to the Coolverse. This is uh, the coolest channel on Twitch with the coolest guy in the room. Um, I'm glad you're here, dude. Um, and you like Crown and Trigger? Awesome. Everybody here loves Crown and Trigger, for better or worse. I, I don't think there's a person here that hates Crown and Trigger, to be real honest. And if they do, they're they're wrong anyway. So uh, we need to restore our HP. Yeah, heal up. All right. 
You didn't like the bonus content much? Well, Toya, you're in luck because we're not doing any of the bonus content. Um, we are playing straight from a Super Nintendo um, using an HDMI adapter. So... Yeah, the you see it widescreen and everything because of the adapter. And it, it actually doesn't look that bad. Like, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, if you look real closely, you might see some, like, visual annoyance, but you gotta be looking real fucking hard. Um, the game looks real sexy. Yes, it does. Um, so I'm glad it looks fine on your guys' end. Um, I was worried about that, truthfully. The Steam version's ugly as fuck. Yeah, that's what I've heard, too. Hey, found a power tab. Nice. Speaking of power tabs, I got a couple to use. Um, da, da, da. All right. Um, let's go chrono and chrono. All right, cool. I've played the Steam version. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. The only version I've played fully is the PS1 port. And that was my only means at the time years ago to play Chrono, Chrono Trigger. So yeah, I like I've played it and played it through, but man, ha not having to sit through all the load times is much more of an enjoyable experience. I'm I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, it's the DS version, but with graphical problems. Yeah, why is it that the the Steam has so many games that have graphical problems compared to like? other versions of games on other systems and shit. Like, I've always noticed that. Like, I don't understand. Like, you would think that would not be a thing, but apparently it is. Cyclone it up! Hiya, 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 hiya! Chrono learn slash. All right. Square Enix just dumps these games on Steam for quick cash without fixing the games up. The only game that got lots of love is 12. Um, the DS version is the one I got first and loved it, but the bonus content, it's okay. Yeah, that's the thing about all the old games that... So all the old games that got kind of like a re-up um, with added bonus content, I like... For better or worse, I don't really care to play the bonus content because for me, it's not like it's a, an original installment of the game. It, it just feels like DLC they added however many years later and I'm just like, eh, who gives a shit at this point? Like, so, like, I played through, like, Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, right, on the uh, Game Boy Advance, and when they released those advanced versions, they added new content, they added new, like, dungeons, end game stuff, whatever, to those games that weren't there normally. I've never played any of that extra content, so, there, for me, there's no point. Like, I, in my opinion, there's no point. If you're a completionist, I guess... If you want to do it, it's fine. But for me, it's like, I played through the story. I fought, I fought the end boss. It's like, unless there's a challenge made or someone wants me to do it, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Like, um, do you like Chrono Trigger? Oh, dude, Chrono Trigger is definitely in my top 10 games of all time. This game is definitely up there. Like, I love this game so much. I've only played through it once, though. But that's how much of an impact this game left on me. I grew up and played Chrono Cross a lot more than I played Chrono Trigger, and it only took one playthrough of Chrono Trigger to make me love that much more in Chrono Cross. Like, Chrono, this game is beautiful. I love this game. The the story, the characters, the... And it's time travel. I'm such a big, big nut for time travel. I love time travel as a sci-fi concept. It's my favorite sci-fi concept. So, like, when a game... 
definitely features the the idea and they re on you know they do a good job of you know portraying it yeah that grabs me um i always feel like it's worth checking out extra added content so you can hate on it later on <laughs> good point good point i mean like i said you know i'm not i'm not hating on extra content i'm glad they do it to, to give people who want more more you know it's fine but i don't see it as something i need to do personally unless you know someone's like hey i did it you should do it too and they're challenging me and that's all right fine you did it all right i i'll, I'll, I'll give it a go sure Um, Chrono Cross is great. Hey, zombie, I'm not shitting on Chrono Cross at all. In fact, I love Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is a beautiful game as well. But I, but as much as I love Chrono Cross, like personally, Chrono Cross is one of my favorite games of all time. I think Chrono Trigger is a better game. Uh, that, that, that's what I'm, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Chrono Cross is still great to me. Crown Trigger's a better game. I know Key would argue with me to the death on that. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, Man, I'm out of MP and I don't want to waste an ether. Um, but you gotta remember Andromeda is better than keeping Caden alive in Mass Effect Trilogy. <laughs> I don't know about that at that. I don't know if I would go that far, zombie. Uh, Andromeda is pretty bad. At least Caden has a character to him. Andromeda has no character. You don't know how far I will go to kill off Caden. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I, I might I might think of you differently if you feel the need to set the example, so we'll just we'll just end the conversation there. <laughs> I verbal abused turret man until he decided to play both ages and seasons. Nice. Nice guys. Tatiro, thanks for the follow, dude. Um, unfortunately, I gotta find somewhere else to hide. You found my stealthy spot. That you, uh, gonna follow me around now. Real nice. Um. He never survived any of my playthroughs. Oh, yeah. I, I would say on all the playthroughs of Mass Effect I've done, and I've done a lot, I would say he only, like... He's probably survived two, two out of like my many playthroughs. Like, and that includes my latest run, that my latest insanity run. That was probably the second time. Um. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, yeah. Um, who's slowly getting in the spiral? Yeah, spiral's good shit, turret. Sorry, I'm just kind of catching up what you guys were saying here. Um. Awesome. You got, yeah, you guys are talking about some shit. Good shit. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get to the castle. Hey, no, dude, Tatero, it's no problem. That, the whole, every, it is cool to geek out. That's why you are welcome here. That's why the cool kids are here enjoying your geekiness. Um, definitely okay to geek out here. Princess Nadia. Are you all right? Where have you been? I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel. You're the one, huh? 
kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, Kronos, admit it. You confuse her and tried to take over the throne. Terrorist. <laughs> Stop it. Stop this at once. What are you doing? But Princess Nadia said to... Idiots, detain him. Chrono! <laughs> uh, Toya is really big on unfollowing people if they don't keep their word to Tiro. I, I hope you can follow up on that. I'm the Chancellor, the Prosecutor. I'm the lawyer, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting Princess Nadia. Now give a tier three sub to Christian Cool. <laughs> don't don't do a tier three sub. I, I you know no. Don't do a tier three. I have nothing in line for tier three right now. Do not do not do that. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps. Hang him upside down for a few years, or shall we employ the guillotine? Christian always keeps his word, so threatening him is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> you, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. Chrono, you are here by order to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Hmm. Tier 3 sub activates the OnlyFans 12 hour stream. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, turret. <laughs> Uh, this part was amazing on my first playthrough. Joe! Joe, Joe. Hey there. All right. We're all being friendly here, right? We're all having a good time. We're all getting to know and love one another. It's time. It's shout out time, everybody. Let us recognize Apothecary Joe soon be entertaining you with some Final Fantasy 4. She's towards the end, I think. So, give her a check. I don't know if she's beat it yet, but I know she's towards the end. Um. And let's shout out the Tiro G. Let us recognize the Tiro G. Soon to be entertaining you with some Spyro. You're the dragon. Check him out on his channel. We got a few more shout outs, if you guys don't mind. Uh, I think I spelled it right. Let us recognize Toya Hachicho soon to be entertaining you with some Resonance of Fate and some Fire Emblem, old school Fire Emblem. Check him out on his channel. He's also been running uh, some real hard, uh, hardcore S plus rank modes of um, Resident Evil remake, uh, Resident Evil 2 remake as of right now. He might do three, but Resident Evil 2 remake. You spelled it right for once. Shut up, Toya. All right. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna shout out Let us recognize the turret man soon to be entertaining you with some Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. Check them out on their channel. <laughs> Zombie Masters like let us recognize the turret man soon to be entertaining you with some Resident Evil 7. 
Which he did say he is going to play through and enjoy. He better enjoy it. <laughs> and last but not least, guys. It's the Zombie Master. Let us recognize Zombie Master soon to be entertaining you with some Final Fantasy 15. He just finished the Mass Effect trilogy. He enjoyed it. He plays some um, other horror type games as well um, for variety. But yeah, he's currently playing Final Fantasy 15. Check him out. Good stuff. And I'm now a family friendly channel. Yeah, he's a family friendly channel, but I heard him say fuck on his channel the other day. So don't let him lie to you. All right. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Marl did. Are you sure? We have witnesses who say you were the one that bumped into the princess. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. The princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow, whereupon you both disappeared. If that was a criminal abduction, I don't know what is. And I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection. This can't have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. The defendant's cruelty is quite evident. You remember her, don't you? The poor little girl who lost her cat. You wouldn't even listen to her. You ignored me. <laughs> um. Oh my God, you guys are going off. Um. Overruled, Steve Mark says. These sprites are adorable. Well, hell yeah, Joe, they are. This is the original OG um, Super Nintendo copy of uh, Chrono Cross. Oh, you poor dear. Thank you. Did I just say Chrono Cross? I meant Chrono Trigger. Um, As you can see, no further proof is necessary here. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. What about Ransom? Chrono, her fortune did tempt you, did it not? No. Are you sure you really weren't tempted? N not at all. Please keep in mind that he just said he had no interest in her fortune. Witness, please. He can't fool me. I saw him with my own eyes. Dear me, I'm so nervous. That man grabbed the pendant even before he checked to see if the princess was okay. And this person's final bit of testimony will prove our case. I heard it clearly. I heard her cry out with my own ears. There's no need to drag me by the arm like some kidnapper. Is that it? Can I go? Nothing more, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. Um, I still need to finish the game myself, as you should, Turret, as you should. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If he is innocent, stand to the right. Not guilty. Hmm. 
guilty. Guilty. Sons of bitches. Guilty. Not guilty. I may stream it, but I'm so bad at RPGs. Well, turret, this is actually probably one of the more streamlined RPGs to play. If this is probably like, if I had to say, if I wanted to introduce someone to RPGs that don't normally play RPGs, this would probably be one of those RPGs I would introduce them to because the, the RPG mechanics are so streamlined and easy to figure out and adjust and, you know, comprehend. I love how you can be deemed not guilty in this game. Um, uh, see Mark says he has way too many games to play. He won't even get to this till next year, which sounds wrong, but hey, well, hey. Who am I to judge what games he should play first? Oh, Tatiro, I definitely have an issue with too many games. Uh, check and point example. Guilty! Well, I'm guilty. Order in the court. Verdict has been reached. The verdict is guilty. The sentence, solitary confinement, pending execution in three days. Take him away! Now just a darn minute! Princess! That's enough, my dear. But father! All I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about the events in town. We're leaving. Prado! Oh man, the backlog. Yeah, mine is bad. My collection is all physical copies and 800 for 800 plus for Nintendo. Oof. You bought the one on Steam but haven't opened it yet? Oh, come on, Joe. You gotta get around to that. Um, this terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom. He has been found guilty, and you must now carry out his sentence. So this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution's in three days away. Do not let him out of your sight. Yes, sir. Gods! Take the prisoner away. See, if I would have owned a DS, I would have probably had this by now, but I never owned a DS either. And now it's like super expensive to get one. Like, I don't... Yeah. Like, I saw that DS copies were going for well over a hundred bucks, too. So, like, ugh. All right, so we're recovered there. Oh yeah, like it, yeah. I was like two days until the execution. Oh, wonderful. God damn. Knock it off. Ooh, I'll show him. Open it up. Ow, jerk. That's what you get for misbehaving. Ooh. 
Why I still have my sword on me in the jail cell is beyond me, but hey, it is what it is. Hell yeah. Yeah, I still have everything. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's save it real quick. The trial. Uh. Why can I not? Was there another switch? Learn our switch I don't know about. Ooh. What are you up to? You're deaf. Down ether, midtonic, midtonic, ether. All right, let's go this way. Okay, that guy's big. So you're the escape con. The Omnicrone, huh? Whatever that is. Whatever that is. You miss fool? Oh my god, you suck! That's right. Down you go. They don't pay me enough for this. That's right, they don't, bitch. Gotta be a way to open that open that gate up more. God damn it. I don't understand why it's not opening. All right. Like I said, there's probably something. All right, let's do one more quick save and then we'll start exploring. So don't hit them when they're not looking through the shield. Or hit them when they're not looking through the shield. Okay. Um, how is everyone on this fine day? I'm having a good. I'm a, d dude. I'm having a good time. Like you guys have been here hanging out. Um, I've had a lot of good laughs already today. Like, I've been totally digging it, guys. You guys are awesome. Like, definitely the best community one a guy like myself could ask for. Um, also, I got some D&D &D to play later. I'm super excited about that. Um, 
I don't know if any of you in the current chat is big into d and I know Zombie Master is, but I don't know if the rest of you are. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to play uh, and meet up with my D&D group, so. The prisoners escaping! Alright, I'll kill these fools. Hiya! Nice. God damn it, yeah, fighter. There we go. Oh, they were going to kill me in here. My God, could you imagine dying in something like this? Like, I, you know, I, I've done my research on like old school medieval torture or um, execution devices. It's ridiculous. I, I swear, back in the day, they really enjoyed killing you. I swear they. You do not design machines the way they did. Unless they, you enjoyed watching those people die. Like. There's just something a little inhumane about the way. About the way they did it. You're a lifesaver. I'm Fritz. My dad runs a store in Truce Village. Stop by if you're in the area. Oh, wait, that was the son of the inn owner that th that they were looking for? Holy shit. They were about to get, chop his head off. And these uh, skeletons are going to wake up. Yep. I heard Zombie Master put Caden in one. Oh, yeah, he did. Surprise, surprise. All right, come on. Those skeleton, those skeletons were no match for Chrono. All right, let's move on. Hiya, 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 hiya. Let's go up this way. Fucking skeleton and bones in the bag. One shelter? Got it. Wait. Um, Tatiro, have you ever played Mass Effect? I missed something.
It's o it's okay, zombie. You missed something, but you're but you're good. You're fine. All right, all right. We gotta go back this way. There was something I missed. I think I missed something. Glenola! It's the treacherous Glenola. And of course, Glenola would actually show up on my channel when Archer's not available. Because if Archer was here, Glenola would be banned by now. By the way, Glenola, it's going good. Um, This is a great game. You are definitely correct on that assessment, my friend. <laughs> I mean, to be true, in truth, turret man, an Iron Maiden is the closest thing the love Caden would ever receive. All right, um, let's go here. God damn it, how do we open these half gates? Fuck. So annoying. Oh, there's a back entrance somehow. <laughs> I see some Star Ocean games are reduced on PlayStation. Um, I might have to look into them, too, because I really need to give the Star Ocean games a revisit. Like, I've only played a little bit of the second one, like, uh, um, of the second Star Ocean, and the third Star Ocean, I wasn't, like, I think I played, like, several hours in, but I wasn't really big with the combat. Like, I thought the combat kind of sucked. So I kind of need to revisit and give, give that, a, give that a look. So, yeah, they're just games I definitely um, kind of missed out and I never played, so I gotta give them some love. What are you up to? I'm killing you. It's what we're doing. Die. The third one tried to be too much like a Tales game. Yes, I would agree with that, Zombie Master. I It, it tried to be a, too much like a Tales game, and the combat also tried to, and it just... I don't know. I think it was the parry system in the third game. I just didn't like it. Like, I hated it. And it turned me off from the combat. When combat in RPGs get... I, if I get turned off from combat in RPGs, I'm done. Like, I might, I'm not even going to fucking stomach through the rest of it. All right. All right, I guess I uh, I guess I'll just go this way and then run into these guys. Kill this guy real quick. And that guy. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. Is there anything in here? Try to double check. Oh, this is a wall. Ah, 
Ah, that's how I get into the one down here. Found 1,500 monies. One load sword. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and can we get out of here? No, we got to go back up the way we came. All right, go up this way. All right, go up that way. Yeah, that's a weird climb. I can't go up any further. Okay. At least I, I don't think I can. We're moving on this way anyways. The prisoner's escaping! Brrr. Die, guys. Die. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, for every day I play these games, I'm going to still do what, uh, what I, what I kind of started doing for Rogue Galaxy is at the start of the game, I'm going to ask you guys if, if, it, if, if the options available, I'm going to ask you guys what party members you want me to have in the party, and we'll play with those members for the day. I Normally in the in games, I like to change up the party members quite frequently, so, like, I, you know, I'll just ask you guys, like, oh, who you, who you guys want me to play with today? Help! Prano! I've come to save you. Gee, it looks like you didn't need my help after all. Let's blow this joint. A top secret document has been left behind on the floor. Care to read it? Sure. To the prison supervisor, Dragon Tank Owner's Manual. The tank can repairs body damage. It contains a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire. Unless the head can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. All right. Sadly, I have to dash, but this has been great. Thank you so much for letting me hang out here. Hey, Totero, the honor's all mine. Thank you for being here. And uh, you're more than welcome to come back anytime, my friend. Um, Good meeting you guys. Have a good one. Jason, er, Jason L. Rush has found me. Appreciate the follow, dude. And it's time... Boss battle! What was that? Forward, Dragon Tank! Crush those rebels! Alright, I appreciate the lurk turret. It's just gotta keep repairing. I might as well just sh keep shooting the damn thing. Ow! All right, Lucas just gotta heal people then. There we go. I like I like criticals. Criticals are nice.
what I like a lot about this game that it's challenging but well balanced at the same time. I definitely agree with you there, Toya. That is definitely how I would sum it up as well. I've never actually played this on active mode either, so it's kind of fun. At the, like, I'm super excited to play this on active. The music, 100% the music. You are not wrong, Jason. By the way, welcome to the stream, dude. I hope your day is well. What uh, what made you uh, find the stream? Were you just looking in the Chrono Trigger section and uh, was like, hey, this dude's playing it. He looks cool too. Oh shit. No, don't kill me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, need to heal, need to heal more. Awesome, dude. Well, I'm glad you found your way to the channel, my friend. Um, you have found the Coolverse. It is the coolest place on Twitch to be. You'll find a lot of cool dudes to hang out with and cool gals even. And uh, you're more than welcome to come here at any point in time. We play all sorts of RPGs in the mornings. Um, we do community events in um, Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday evenings. If you're into board games, we do those on the Sunday nights and we do stuff like Fall Guys, Streets of Rage, other co-op beat-em-ups and uh, we do like Dead by Daylight and stuff like that at night, Monday and Wednesdays. Um, but yeah, that's kind of rundown what we do here, dude. Ooh, I saw tons of board games behind you. I knew you were one of my people. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking board, another board gamer. Hell yeah, fist bump to that, dude. Uh, I'm big on that. I'm a big board gamer. I'm super big in the hobby. Lot, Obviously, as you can tell, I own lots of games. And uh, yeah, I love the hobby, man. The hobby's super awesome. Um, the energy is stored in the wheels. I got, I got. Well, it's in the morning, except for if you're a Toya. Who's like the only, like one of the very few people in my audience that's across the seas. Um, it's nighttime over there in uh, Europe, so. Gotta, gotta respect his time zone. Toy is, Toy is very tired right now. He's probably gonna fall asleep watching me even. <laughs> Thank you for respecting my time zone. I think you're just looking for reasons to be the exception now. <laughs> but yeah, since you say you're a board gamer, Jason, what what kind of board game? Like, what are some of your favorite board games, dude? What do you like to watch? Like, what do you like to play? I'm sure you have more Europeans than you think. I know I do, Toya. You're just the most consistent one, though. They got the dragon tank. Fix it quickly. Bye bye, guys. Woohoo! Don't fool yourselves into thinking you've gotten away with this. Eh, ah, kiss my ass, bitch. Woohoo! Got the shelter. I was gonna say there's nothing else, right? They're escaping. We have no choice but to break through. They're escaping. Stop. Princess Nadia. Off to work, dog. I'll see you on Discord tonight. Everyone have a great night. Uh, thanks, Archer. We'll, uh, I'll probably talk to you later on this evening, dude. Um, this is my, this is my friend. Show him your respect. But 
Can't you take orders? Of course. Hold it right there. Do as King Guardia the 33rd says. Father, silence, Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. What? Just because I have a title doesn't mean I'm not a person. You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. Princess Nadia, I despise you. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia. Come on, Chrono. Don't you just stand there. Don't just stand there after them. Princess Nadia. There they are. Don't lose them. There's no escape. Silence. All right, I gotta find a way, I gotta find a way. Uh, looks like a dead end. A gate. Come on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Who cares? This place stinks anyways. Princess Nadia. This is completely irrational. Hurry, Chrono. And away we go. Oh, geez. Nemesis. Um, almost any token placement game. Everdell's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, Everdell is definitely a game that I'm starting to be more and more high on. Um, I've only played Nemesis once, and it was not the funnest experience in the world. But I did buy it. I did buy like the latest Kickstarter and everything, so I'm supposed to get that in the mail eventually. Um, Red Rising's your favorite lately? I've not actually played Red Rising. Um. They disappeared. Um, like, I got so many favorites, but usually if I had to lean on a favorite or two, I would either, it would either be Terraforming Mars, um, either Terra Mystica and or Gaia Project, one of the two. Um, or, like, I could play something like Clank or something like that and have a good amount of fun. So, like... There's so many different games out there, dude, that I really love and enjoy. Like, if we're talking games within the last, like, year or two that I've released, like, I really enjoyed Dune Imperium. Dune Imperium was super good. Uh, the Crew. The Crew is awesome. Very good co-op uh, trick-taking game. Um, there's so many games that come out. Um, what came out in the last year? Uh, Dwellings of Elder Eldervale is good stuff as well. Um... Eek! Youch! There's no way the Chancellor could reach us here. But where are we? The civilization here seems so advanced. Like we're in another world? Alright. And... It looks like hell. Um, are you talking about the regular Dune or Dune Imperium? Because Dune Imperium is a worker placement game that just came out in this last year or so. All right, so we're going to actually save it here. All right, and I just noticed the time, and I do have to transfer you guys to someone else who is just as fun and just as entertaining. 
Um, and let's see if we can find somebody that is that feet that fits the criteria, so to speak. Um, all right, so there is a pretty. Uh, how many people in here likes uh, Pokemon? Any big Pokemon fans? Anybody loves Pokemon and the like? Yes, no, maybe so. Me, turn man likes Pokemon. Hmm. All right. So what we'll do is I will go ahead and we're gonna raid Kraken Skulls here because I gotta get around and head out. But I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me on this fine morning. It was a lot of fun. You guys are super awesome. You guys were entertaining the shit out of me, honestly. I'm glad I got to tell a, a horrific dating story earlier and you guys were super cool. I had a lot of fun today, guys. Um, we're gonna take you over to Kraken Skulls. He's playing uh, Pokemon Shield and Shield slash Sword right now. I don't know which one it is, but he's uh, he's killing it, and uh, he loves his Pokemon. And he's a he's a nice, legit guy. Give him some love. Give him some fist bumps. Give him some cool. Show him that you came from here with the cool raid. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, let him know where you came from, anyways, and let and. Uh, Guys, have yourself a wonderful day. We'll play more Crown Trigger tomorrow morning. Followed up with some Streets of Rage 4 Mr. X content um, later in the evening. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one and uh, take care, guys.